Hi, I'm Matt Johnson, and I'm the CEO of QCWare. On behalf of our entire team at QCWare, I'd like to welcome all of you to the fourth annual Q2B conference. We're really excited about this year's edition of the conference. We have once again pulled together a truly world-class group of speakers and content. So please stock up on extra cups of high-octane coffee or Red Bull now so that you don't miss any of the presentations. One important thing, I'd really like to thank you, all of the attendees who have registered for Q2B, for your participation in this year's virtual conference. Each of you has adapted your work practices to deal with the challenges of remote work, and by registering, you have indicated a willingness to flex with the Q2B team this year. At the risk of getting ahead of myself, we obviously hope to see all of you in person at Q2B next year. If all goes well with vaccines and travel and lodging procedures, we'll be back in place and in person in Silicon Valley in December 2021. Now, let's level set. Q2B's mission has remained unchanged over the past three years. We want to pull together the QC community, the entire technology stack, so that we can address one of the most important questions in this community. Which practical problems can be more efficiently solved using quantum computing resources than by classical computing? To achieve that goal, here are the questions Q2B will help you answer. How do I get my company involved in this application discovery process? How powerful are today's quantum computers and algorithms, and when might we achieve practical advantage? And finally, what public sector funding programs are out there? How can my company, lab, or university access the government funding programs that have emerged around the globe? Here's the Q2B team. It covers all of the major stakeholder groups. Despite COVID, we continue to grow the size and quality of our team. Thank you for being part of it. The Germans would say, ohne Schmierung läuft der Motor nicht, which means an engine doesn't run without lubrication. In the case of QC, the thing that has made this innovation engine spring into operation is the immense flow of fresh capital, corporate R&D funds, government grants and contracts, and VC investment have all contributed. In this and the following slide, I'm gonna show you some tangible evidence of this financial watershed. Before I run through those stats, I wanna give a big shout out to the source of this information, Doug Fink, who runs the Quantum Computing Report website and service. Anyway, the overall allocation of funds to quantum technologies has exploded over the past five years. In 2015, public and private sector multi-year allocations amounted to roughly $1.5 billion. Fast forward to 2020, and that multi-year budget allocation has increased by a factor of almost 14 times to $22 billion. A lot of that capital has found its way into the private sector, and it has fueled the growth of the QC industry. Now, Q2B 17 was a scant 36 months ago, but since then, here's how the QC ecosystem has grown. For hardware development, software development, professional services, and other business models, the number of firms has grown exponentially. At last count, there are a total of 193 quantum computing companies of some substance that are operating around the globe. All of our sponsors are essential to the success of Q2B. They provide the industry perspectives and the financial backing for our program, so I'd like to thank all of them and let you know who they are. The Air Force Research Laboratory has returned for the third consecutive year as our anchor sponsor. They are true leaders in this field and we're grateful for their continued sponsorship. AFRL is joined this year by IonQ as another platinum sponsor. IonQ is one of the leading QC hardware developers, and you'll be hearing a lot from them over the next three days. Four of our diamond sponsors are returning from last year, and they are joined this year by Zapata. Our gold and showcase sponsors represent the entire QC technology stack. We'd also like to thank our exhibitors and the organizations who have allowed us to host Networking Break. Now, on to the main event. 
Today, you will be able to learn about QC through three perspectives. Business commuting problems that are being mapped onto quantum computers, social impact topics around our industry, and software demonstrations. Thanks for listening, and I hope you all have a great day at Q2B today.